Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Maddos, and today I've got game number one of a best of one, a bit of PvP fun, and it's going to be going down on Yonsu. Spawning up in the top right position as the red Protoss player, it's Otis. And his opponent down in the bottom left, the blue Protoss representing Team EG, it's Huck. So, Huck and Otis, what have they got planned? Well... PvP, lots of fun stuff can be going on, of course. There's lots of excitement on the cards, potentially. Um, what we could also see is some aggression, various 1 and 2 base all-ins, and a very outside chance of a very long game. Um, PvP, if you do get into late stages, where you get out like Mass Colossi and stuff, it can get incredibly fast, because or incredibly long, because neither player wants to engage, because the thing about late-game PvP is especially when it's Colossus versus Colossus, whoever loses those Colossi first <laughs> loses the game because they just take too long to get back out. Um, and that's really why you want to be very careful. It's similar, it's similar to most matchups to be honest in the late game that if you lose your entire army, generally speaking, it's not going to be good for you. Aside from a couple of a couple of situations where actually you can resupply super fast Zerg specifically. But for the moment, both these two players going for a normal-ish game. They're both getting out their gateways in their own bases, which is usually a good sign. They're also both going to go and take two gases early on. This, of course, doesn't mean that they're going for an identical build as of yet, because one player could put four drones in, four probes in gas, the other could put six in, and that would suggest a tech opening as opposed to just a standard opening. Gotta wait and see, though, what they're going to do. Pylon coming at the back of the base for Otis. Uh, generally speaking, and this is a huge generalization you put a pylon back here if you want to hide some tech and um, basically make it less likely to get scouted because if a probe comes up in to try and get some scouting you've got a mothership core down you can usually stop it before it gets to the back of your base but again that is a monumental assumption to make um if i want to go in further i'd say usually it's a twilight council into a dark shrine just because that's the sort of tech you want to catch your opponent off guard with. But anyway, three probes in gas there. Huck also sitting with three probes in gas. Their gas income is very similar. Huck slightly up, so probably got those probes in there slightly faster. Otis investing in a second gateway, though. And that's quite interesting because this is a very safe opening. This is a casual remit that you're not going to lose to anything. You can also apply a bit of pressure. But since there's a sentry coming out, that pressure is less likely. The sentry is there in case there was a big push and he can force it off the ramp by himself time to produce more. Over at Hogside, he's also getting down the sentry. That's where their gas is going. So no super fast tech as of yet. Mothership cores on both sides are in production and it's all looking good for them. So this is a very normal PvP. And as I said, the only variance so far is the second gateway coming down. Now, there will be tech choices shortly, very shortly, especially from Otis, he's reaching 150 gas, which is usually when you see something, and boom, Stargate gonna be coming down. This could be for Oracles, it could be for Phoenix, could potentially even be for Voidway. Meanwhile, on Hog's side, it's a Twilight Council, so different builds. Now, by going for this Stargate, if Huck is going hypothetically for DTs, it could be very, very good for him unless an Oracle comes out there. If Phoenix comes out and basically no robotic facilities made by Otis, Huck wins. It's that simple. If an Oracle comes out, it depends on where it's positioned, on whether or not Huck will have detection to deal with... Oh, sorry, Otis will have detection to deal with DTs. But two additional gateways on their way down. Twilight Council is about to finish, so this is where we'll get the reveal on whether it's a Dark Shrine on Blink. And for the moment, Huck is not going to tell us. Huck... Huck. Huck. Okay. He's just poking. He's got a pylon quite up high here, but still is not giving anything away. Meanwhile, though, robotic facility coming down, and also an oracle coming out here. Huck scouts the oracles there, scouts the robotic facility is there, and really shouldn't, in my opinion, go for DTs at this stage. And indeed, he won't. Gets blinked down after getting the scout, knowing that his opponent will be able to defend. Mass recall comes out, and the scouting mothership core does its job. So, with Blink, Huck is getting himself into a good mid-game position, and he's got a good little timing he can try to utilize until the Immortal count gets sort of above two. Two Immortals is really the minimum that becomes scary to Blink Stalkers. Only one, the Blink Stalkers can be very aggressive and snipe it off quickly. 
After that, you can't snipe it off that fast. But Otis does still have an opportunity to come and deal some good damage. A Stalker chipping away at that Oracle, but of course the Oracle is so fast now. Can come in and still deal a good little bit of damage. A Stalker getting warped in, but already Otis racking up a couple of kills. Um, only two so far. Doesn't quite manage to get the third one. A cancel forced by Huck as well from the natural base. That is huge. Forcing a cancel on that has really thrown Otis off his play. A second Oracle has been produced. So this is quite a big commitment to the Oracle harassment. And basically what Otis wants to achieve is a lot of damage. Stalker's coming up the ramp. Unfortunately, the force field hit just in time, preventing Huck from dealing it too much damage. But once Blink is completed, which is only 50, uh, 40 seconds away, this won't be a problem, especially in that position. But Huck now makes it up. Foden overcharge will be required in order to defend against this. Um, will now get triggered, although I think the Stalkers can actually attack that gateway without going into range. They may even be able to get a probe or two. If they can hit those pylons, which they can, this is very problematic. One Immortal sitting a long way back. The Stalkers, of course, able to take out these pylons quite heavily now. Supply block Otis preventing a lot of production, and that is definitely not what you want to be seeing. So, Huck with Blink now completed, is just waiting for that phone overcharge to finish. The Oracle though did huge amounts of damage, unfortunately I missed that because of the critical stuff going on on the other side of the map. 14 workers have been killed, but both Oracles now taken out. If Otis defends, he's in a good spot, and he's got a good Blink Stalker defense up now. Voidway and two Immortals, but he needs to produce some gateway units to support that. One Sentry and two Zealots will not be enough to support that kind of push. Force Moons go down, trying to zone out those Immortals. They're doing a damn good job of it so far. The Voidway takes some damage, but it's not yet focused. Force Moons coming down for Otis now, and the Voidway able to start racking up some kills. The Immortals racking up kills as well. Blink forward though by Huck. He's going to focus the Immortals, and with a lack of gateway support, I feel that Huck going to be able to shut those down and once they're dead he just has to make sure that he deals with the rest of this army kiting backwards takes out the mothership core a lot of gas damage has been done here but another immortal now on the field the blink stalker count not that high huck only at eight probes is looking to be in problems especially since that third immortal has now popped out with the gateway support now in position for otis huck just cannot match the production and is forced to gg out so Congratulations to Otis there, holding with that harassment, knocking out Huck's economy, preventing him from following up with that push, will take the game.